Hello guys, welcome back. Dinner Fried Dinner Steak here to Don't Starve, Season 1, Episode 9. Last episode, we made a, um, we made a birdcage, and we got some birds, we got some traps going up here. Tomorrow, we're gonna check, we're gonna check our actual traps, but for the meantime, what needs to be done is we need to, we need to really get this fire going here. Wow, that one log just really does wonders for us. Food is no longer going to be an issue because we also got the ice box, and as you can see, this mole is going to come pick up this thermal stone. You try to actually, can I bait him? I'm back here. Oh, yes, daddy. That's a great way to start off an episode. Mmm, meat. All right. So, today's objective is, I realize we're going to need some more insulation, but we're going to need some gears for the ice fling matic come summer. And the gears are all down here. There's a tall bird over here, and there's some more stuff I'd like to go explore. But today's most basic necessity... What do we need to make the um, sewing kit again? I forgot. That's a lot of silk just for that but let's see what this does here if I sew that takes up to a hundred percent definitely gonna keep that in mind uh, let's bring Chester with us and let's go uh, do some more exploring uh, let's put the hat on and let's get going I've turned down the sound effects a bit just because of uh, just in my last video, uh, when the wind was really blowing, it was, like, really blowing. Oh, no, duh. Well, of course, it was just, it was really loud, so, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go travel down and take care of the clock, clockwork rook. See, already the thermal stone is, like, completely useless. Chester's back with us, so that's good. A little bit of poop on the way there, so we can throw some poop back in. The poopage, um... We're going to want to collect a lot of it in the winter because when the summer comes, beefalo go into heat. And if you guys don't know what heat is, it's it's mating season for the beefalo and they attack you like no other. And it's going to get pretty aggressive. So, yeah. All right. Let's go do this now. How I want to take, how, do I, how I want to deal with this is I want to somehow get uh, wake up the rook. Okay, I want to wake up the rook. I'm gonna wake up the rook, and then uh, I'm gonna try to have him smash into the bishop. But that's not gonna work. And I'll tell you why that's not gonna work. Because it's a damn rook. Okay, come on, buddy. There you go. There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna ag. I'm gonna try to aggro him. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. Hey. Hey, you. Oh, no. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Ah, uh, no, no, no. This is not how I want to go down. This is not... Okay, we have him down to 140. Okay. So, maybe the Clockwork Rook is not... Um... Let's just go home. Let's go home. This is not, this was not a smart idea. This was not a smart idea. I am pulling up my phone right now to go look up some crafting recipes for food. I, prob I, guess I probably shouldn't have said that out loud. No, 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 no. We are not going to get cold. We are not going to get cold. We're not going to get cold. We're not going to get cold. Because if I get too cold, I'm going to die. So let's warm up at the tree here. Get nice and toasty. Very good, very good. Very good. Good, good, good. Good. Good, good, good. And good. Looks like... We can make some honeyed ham. That would definitely heal us up. Let's get a uh, pine cone on the fire. Let's get a poop going. Okay, let's try this out here. So, 
To make honeyed ham, we're gonna need honey, obviously. Uh, let's pull out some meat here. Oh, it's in the freezer, duh. We can use a bit of the jerky. And we can use a bit of monster meat. And it should net us honeyed ham. Okay, so what we learned today is we need to bring the log suit. We need to 100% bring log. Oh, I didn't even check the traps either. God, I am horrible at this game. Uh, let's give some seeds to our little bird friend here. Hey, oh, what are you gonna do? You gonna poop? Oh, okay, so we got. It. What are you gonna do? Okay, so they drop. I'm giving him seeds, and he's just giving me seeds back in return. Can I get an egg? No, it will not give me an egg. And we got honeyed ham. Okay, this is gonna. Okay, that's that's a that's a start. That's a start to. That's something. Let's go make another honey and ham. See, we're running low on... We're running, mo, uh, we're running low on morsels, and that's what I would like to kind of correct here. Got plenty of monster meat. Okay, the log suit. We did some good damage on the clockwork night. We can take the hat off. We don't need it. And it is a it is a waning crescent, or is it a waxing gibbous? I don't know. I never really paid attention to my moon cycles in uh, in class. Yeah, let's put another piece of manure on. We got some big jerky coming right off. That's gonna be nice. There we go. More honeyed ham. There you go. That's going to bring our hunger up nice and good. Going to keep the bee comb for when spring comes so we can make beehives. I don't really think we need marble. I think that's just going to really suck up some inventory space. But you know what? So be it. Sewing kit. Looks like more meat's coming right off the rack as we speak, which is going to be nice. So this is our jerky collection. And I... So, I used to play this game a lot, and it was never as serious as this, and I always thought that drying racks were such a waste of time, because um, I never really understood how they worked, but now that I understand how they work, these are such incredible items. Huh. I'm gonna put the poop away. Gold, nice, nice little stash of gold. Seven gold just right off the ground. Or did I have that gold already in my inventory? I don't know. Uh, we have, we, you know, let's, uh, let's clear up some room here. We have a lot of tools. I dropped an 84% axe. What is wrong with me? We have a lot of tools that we can be using right now. I should probably bring my spear with me. And we're gonna equip, equip the log suit, which I feel like is gonna, which I feel like is gonna break right away. Yo, where's my thermal stone, too? Chester... Right, thermal stones on the ground. Pick up the chest. Get some more poop in there. And there we have it. And get a nice little toasty thermal stone there. We're gonna bring Chester along with us. We can put the earmuffs back. And there we go. We have a nice little start here. Do I have a shovel on me at all? I do not. Interesting. Because I think if we can dig up some of these sprouts here, and that'll be good. Ah, da 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 Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at these crops. They're, they're hardly even growing. Health is at 72%, or 72. 72 out of 150, so we're like not even halfway there. And we are a bit ish. Depending on math. Wouldn't it be it'd be 75? Okay. Anyway, regardless of how math is done, we have a mission today, and that mission is to go finish that clockwork rook off. 
so let's do it. There's no, like, uh, there's no damage modifiers in this game. Like, I can make a pan flute and probably shoot it, which I should probably have done to make the birdcage. But we'll live with our consequences of our actions. But, like, I can't, like, take Psycho, you know, from Fallout 4 to boost my damage. You know, it's it's truly a stat game, Don't Starve is. You know, you gotta outstat your opponent. You know what, I'm fine with that because I think we can tank... I think we can tank... I think we can tank the clockwork. I don't think we can tank, but I think if we can get it to, like, pacify and repacify, and I just need to run... When I do it, this will be um, this will be an easy kill. And definitely, if I can kill Rock Clockwork Rook by my own, I'm gonna be quite happy with myself. So, let's go find the Clockwork Rook and let's deal with him. Hey, buddy, what's up? Wait for him to use a little charge. Turd, you, dude, you clock Chester. I don't need Chester dying again. Chester, Chester, no. Chester, no. Chester, no. Yeah, crash in this tree. Okay. I'm just gonna tank him. I'm just gonna tank him. I'm just gonna tank him at this point. He's dead. He's dead. The clockwork rook is dead, and I'm going to die soon, too. So let's go back home. Oh, because my freaking the, the armor broke. Great. Well, so be it. Ooh, carrots. You took some damage. Oh, you turkey, come on. Ah, I can't even get you. We took a lot of damage, you know, but it's for a good cause. Because we can get our health up just a little bit here. It's... Uh oh, uh, we're cold, so let's swap this out. Torch, please. Thank you. Well, we did it. We killed the clockwork rook, so that's a couple more gears for our collection. Oh, we we found the sunken boat. This is why I hate the water. Oh, when shipwrecks comes, Wilson, you'll be saying completely different things. Let's burn another sapling. Oh, I said burn another sapling. All right, let's get. Let's just go back home at this point. Good day. Good day, everyone. I need to check those traps eventually, but it's just it's too cold right now. It's, it's just way too cold. Am I even mining that? I don't know. Uh, it's, it's just too cold right now to really do anything. And I feel like you guys are really yelling at me on screen, like... You know, I feel... I don't... I never... I never... I never... When I've watched people play this game, and the way that I remember this game, I just don't remember, um... I don't remember the, um, pickaxe just being so... Uh, the thermal stone just getting so cold so quickly. I just... I don't remember that, you know? But so be it. So be it. Alright, let's go back home. The two poop can go right on the fire pit. We can put the gears away. And that's pretty much all the more dangerous stuff we need to do this winter. Oh, I mean, we have carrots, we have honeyed ham. We need to focus on now. It's getting our health back up. And I think you guys will appreciate this. So, if I recollect back on my memory, uh, Trail Mix does pretty good. Trail Mix is, it gets 20 health, I believe. But I feel like we could make... Um, I have no clue. Because we don't have any birch nuts, so we can't make any Trail Mix. We could make... Uh, you know, hunting ham is really the best thing that we can do. Unless we get some fish, but all the ponds are frozen, you know? Uh, spicy chili, spicy chili, spicy chili. I think we need jerky. Actually, you know what? We're not going to risk it. Well, I am going to risk it here. We're going to make one more thing of honeyed ham. 
And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make one more thing of hunting ham. Can we put berries in it? I completely forgot the recipe. Let's cook. We're gonna make some honeyed ham. And it's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Alright. Just gonna keep the earmuffs on. Just in case. Now to drop the pine cone. Pick it up, you goofball. 15 minutes in. I think I feel like I'm trying to get the, um, I'm trying to get the feeling from you guys that some of these videos are a bit boring. But so be it. We killed a rook today and I'm pretty proud of myself. The operation now. Let's go. I thought there were 4 over there. Why are there only 3? Oh, cuz I have a trap on me. Duh. Well, these are honeyed nuggets. What does this do? So, 18. I obviously botched the recipe there, but so be it. Got a little bit more wood. And that's the cool thing about the Clockwork Rook, if you guys... Um, the Clockwork Rook will crash into anything. And as you can see in the last video, um, he completely destroyed... No, the, se the uh, episode 7. Or just the... You, you'll see over time... The one before the bird video. Uh, the clockwork rook can crash into his own people, so his own clockwork. And that just makes him a very great asset when it comes to having to murder stuff. Gonna use some grass this time. We have a nice little stash of resources, I'm not gonna lie. And up next is we're going to make the prostatinator, which we're gonna need... Uh, to make a top hat, we're going to need silk. And my silk count is one. We'll go pick up, we'll pick up the rabbits tomorrow and then we can plan this. Uh, traps, I think the issue with traps is I would, I'd be a hardcore trapper any day of the week. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to say that hard thing, but like everything in this game is balanced appropriately. Like it's six grass to make a single trap. That's a lot of grass, you know? I feel like the issue, too, is I'm not grasping the concept of getting the... Oh, no! Where did it go? Did, um... I think something ate my stone again. Well, that's... That's great. Something ate my freaking. Okay, whatever. I don't even care. You know what? The game got me again. Haha, ha, that's what I get. I hate you, Reign of Giants, and when when the time comes, I'm gonna murder everything in this game. And I'm gonna murder Krampus. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this game right by the balls and I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna jerk it. I'm gonna rip him right off. They took my trap again. Son of a biscuit. Well, we have to live with our actions, don't we? Just in life, the mistakes that we make in the world. I'm going to freeze a lot faster, though. That's what I don't like. Whatever. So be it. I, I want to attack you, but I just... Yeah, whatever. Let's check the traps. Traps, traps, traps. Nothing there. Got a morsel there. Oh, it's a rotten morsel. Yikes. There, we got one there. And we can set this trap. Right there. Come on. Whatever. Okay. Where are my other traps? Okay, got a trap here. Where's your hole?
Does anything live here? Oh. Alright, getting cold, getting cold, getting cold. I can't cook the morsel on the fire, which is cute. Oop, taking a bit of fire damage. You know, while we're out here, let's go take the time to get some more grass. Because grass is always good. Always need that grass. Ah, oh, yes. Just another relaxing day, you know. The game is not... I do not think the game is that... Oh, it's nighttime. Sorry. There was just some background noise in the back. And I'm back. So, I just had to do some yard work really quick. I'm back, guys. And I'll tell you about the yard work in the next episode. Because, oh, it's... forgot it's cold. It's cold, it's cold, it's cold. We need to... We need to get back home. Oh, there's more meat and stuff. And, oh, all the meat... Why is all the meat coming out now? Uh, I'm probably going to die. Oh, I can light the grass tufts on fire. That'll give us a little bit of warmth. Not a lot of warmth, but it's just enough to get that little ice off here. Yeah, we're going to... I don't know when I'm going to do it. But at some point, we're going to have to go find the Qualifant. And we need to get the, um, the insulated vest. Or however you put it. That's, those, see, 500 health for a beefalo. That's, um, that's pretty deadly. That's enough to feed yourself for quite a while, though, and don't starve. And as you can see, we're going to start taking some more ice damage. So as soon as we get home, I'm going to drop this poop. Come on. We're almost there. Past the penguins. I'm so hungry. Let's add the fuel. One, two... Let's put the spoiled morsel on there, and when it dries, it's going to come back, and it's going to be a lot better than it was before. We have two rabbits. We have nowhere to store said rabbits. I don't know if you put meat inside a chest or if you'll consume it. So for now, we'll just put the stuff there. damn bird and that'll do it for this episode i'm gonna keep this one short because the content was kind of lacking today so guys if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and i hope i'll see you in the next video bye bye